When you're starting out on Reels, one of the biggest problems people have is how do you edit them? Yes, you can edit them in the app, but sometimes it's easier to edit it in a different app. So I wanna show you and introduce you to my favorite app. It's called InShot and it's how I edit all my videos. I'm even gonna edit this video on InShot. Gonna be awesome. So make sure that you're following me, subscribing, whatever. And let's show you a little tour of InShot. So this is what the app looks like. You click on InShot and then you click on new video and you click on new. And then you're given access to all of your videos um, that you can choose from. So I will go to like this um, video section. Um, Brittany and I, my friend Brittany and I made a reel. And so we recorded a bunch of different videos that were like between five and seven seconds long. And now we're gonna upload them to InShot. From here, you can choose your canvas size. So you go to canvas and if you're doing a reel or TikTok, you'll leave it at this one. And if you're just doing a post, you can make it square. If you're doing a YouTube video, you can do that. It'll automatically add the borders. And so you can choose whatever size of video that you want. So we can do this since I'm doing a reel. I'll click there. Um, now you'll see that you can scroll through and there's a lot of different options that you can do in here. Pretty awesome. Um, so the first one is music. You can click here. You can add effects like actual noises and things. Um, you can add music that are that's on your phone there. And then you can also, they have some background music that you can put in. So, um, so you have tracks. This is where you can get their music here. You can do it. You can listen to it and choose it and it'll apply it. Um, the other thing you can do is you can record over something. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so that's the music. You can add stickers. So you can scroll through here. I use this one a lot. Like when I'm pointing to different, if I'm doing tutorials, I'll use that one. But you can add whatever stickers you want. And then did you see that when I added it, you can make it lengthen its time, kind of like on in Reels, like you can drag it here and make it last longer or shorter. So I'm just gonna delete that one. Um, okay, so that's the stickers. You can add text. The same thing. Okay, I can make it longer or shorter from there. All right. So I'm going to click there. If I want to delete it, I have to click on it. Okay, so there's text. You can add filters, which is just going to change. You know, you can you can make it brighter or warmer. Okay. And. Um, then you can, if you want to split something, you can, you have to click it, then you go where you want it split and then click there. And now it's split that into two different things and then you could shorten it or lengthen it. You can delete it. Now this volume one, I really like because you click there and you can turn off the volume of your videos. And the reason why you'd want to do this is so that you could do voice over. I'm pretty funny in this one, this video <laughs> is you want to do voice over. So with all of that done, then you could, if this, let's, let's take off the sound with this. And then once that sound's taken off, you could go back over to music and then you could hit record. It's going to count three, two, one, and then you can talk over it however you want. And then if you didn't like it, you could do this retry button over here. Or if you liked it, you could just do that. And then now that is the thing I just recorded. Okay. Well, let's see. The speed up tool is awesome. You, so this will, it only applies to each clip. So if I wanted to speed up more than one clip, I'd have to click each one and speed up each one by itself. So if I click here, I can speed it up really fast, but that's kind of crazy. But you can just speed it up as much as you want and then it's really fast. Okay. Um, you can duplicate, crop, rotate all of the things there. But those are the big main things that I do um, is <clears throat> I will split them, delete things. I'll add text and stickers, music, and change the canvas, and then the volume and the speed. So once you're done, like you go through each of your clips and see us dancing, <laughs> you go through each of your clips. And when you're done, you just click this button at the top, which is the export button, and you can decide how you're going to save it. You hit save. And then it will just 
it will do it for you. So that is my simple process to using InShot to create reels. Now, let me tell you what happens afterwards because I will do my video editing in InShot and then I will take that video, export it, and then and then I upload it as a reel. And then I add the, you know how on the reels it has the text box, the boxes that pop in and out. Well, I like to add that in the Reels Instagram app because, well, Instagram wants me to hang out as long as possible on Instagram. So I do think it gives you, you know, any more time you can spend on Instagram, go for it, right? So I do have that text pop in and out. I do put that on after InShot. If you're not sure how to do that, I have another video that um, can help you, can teach you exactly how to do that for your Reels. And then I will, um, put those words up and then we post it and we go. Now, InShot just is a little bit more of an intuitive, simple editor. I, If I have any videos that I have on my phone that I'm like editing for anything, even this YouTube video or like an Instagram video, I use InShot because it's so easy and it's so awesome. So yes, I think that there is a little bit, um, I think it does cost a little bit, but it has been totally worth the small investment to have the easiest video app ever, ever. <laughs> it helps me speed up my videos. It helps me do voiceovers, like when I'm teaching, which I just did. All of those things, I, it just, InShot makes it so easy. So hopefully this was helpful. I um, would love for you to follow or subscribe and make sure you're around for all of the good stuff because I want you to succeed online. I want you to build a business that lasts and I can help you get there. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time.